I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world? Alright, ladies and gents, so you already know what today's video is. I have bought a high ground gaming keyboard. It is a 60% mechanical keyboard with, of course, the Cherry MX Red switches. Now, believe it or not, I am never gonna switch from Cherry MX Red. I only like those. The blue's too heavy for me, and the brown's just like, I don't want an intermediate one. I have O-ring key switches for a reason. So basically, it's just a little O-ring that goes underneath the key switches, and then you put the key switches on the keycaps, or the keycaps on the key switches, and that's it. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've already opened the shipping box, but there's a reason why I haven't taken it out of the shipping box yet. All right guys, so this is it right here. So now we're opening it, and this is the reason why I didn't fully take it out, because, no joke, this is the best packaging I think I've ever seen from a mechanical keyboard company. And we'll see the pros and cons of the company, as well as the keyboard, in a minute, but look at this. This is literally insane. The packaging of it is more thought of than what a normal keyboard would be, which would just be the packing paper and then the, well, the keyboard. Not talking. We can take it out, guys. So it's just different. First, look at the case. The case looks amazing. Oh, I, I should get the back. First look at the case, it's amazing. The branding of it, it is really stellar. I think it's very simple, it's classic, but it also gives the uniqueness of the company. It's actually really cool, they have their coordinates on here of what the, where the company's made. Now the key switches to them are called the TTC White Flame. Which I don't know exactly what that looks, or what that is, but to them I'm assuming this is Cherry MX Red. They obviously have the whole directions on the back, so you have keyboard, you have your cable type C, you have your switch puller, keycap puller, but it's really cool that they show you what's actually inside. And they have the high ground company description, so essentially let me read it to you. It says, high ground is a premium gaming hardware and lifestyle brand co-founded by Rustin Soto Ted and Kalu. Our mission is to elevate gaming culture by redefining gaming hardware. Now I will say this, I give them props because it seems like they actually understand quantity over quality, but as well as quality over quantity. Now, I know those are two completely different things and I know I've really said polar opposites of each. Here's the thing, High Ground, the company, is a limited edition and limited quantity company. So essentially, the one that I have right now, which you guys will see in a minute, is limited. Now they have more limited edition ones, such as like the 100 Thieves times High Ground, or the anime, or Attack of the Titan, Times high ground. Those are really expensive. This one came around at $145 after tax. Now, obviously, you guys saw that I bought a keyboard for $45 and I'm still using it to this day. It's freaking phenomenal. Um, I have my Matrix keyboard. I hated that one. That was $130. And then I had my Ducky keyboard, which was $125. So, since High Ground is that limited edition company, as you guys know, Final Mouse, I'm in a whole compilation of them, which is aggravating enough but these guys are limited edition in the way that they actually ship out super fast and supposedly they're really high quality so without further ado enough talking i know i keep saying that but i'm excited i just want to explain everything before we get opening to this all right so here we have look better up here this is the first 60 percent keyboard where they give you all the instructions of the functions if you guys don't know 60 percent keyboards don't have everything like arrow keys and f4 and everything like that like you have to do an alt fn f4 or alt fn e just to change colors and whatnot this is the first company to give me rgb functions so for instance it says fn tab to change rgb mode fn backslash and then the straight one here to turn off RGB and a whole bunch of other ones. Multimedia functions and also, which is really cool, I don't know if you guys can see this from that, probably not, but it gives you all of the RGB lighting menu options, which I think is really cool. Like this is insane. This is what a company should do because not a lot of people understand the functions of an, a 60% keyboard like myself. To believe it or not, even though I review them, I don't know everything about them. Now this is really cool too. They have an app that you can download via the Google Play or App Store and you can change your RGB like that too. And then they give you an instruction on how to swap your switches and they have a discord listen guys i know i've been talking for a really long time about literally just this as a review of the company which there's not one single con about this company so far they've 
hyped themselves up. They've given quantity out, which is huge for me because as a business, as a new business, as a company that wants to improve gaming, this isn't all about hype and creating a resell. It's really about giving your customers and giving gamers what they want. This is special. This is huge. I thoroughly love the fact that you can literally get an instruction manual here. So let's look at the actual keyboard. The actual keyboard, oh my god, and they put, oh this is sick. This is a good company. They put specialized paper that actually goes around the keyboard to protect it. Okay, that is a solid keyboard. Wow, it's got weight to it. Wow, <laughs> that's a keyboard. So this actually is engraved and says Bonsai, so I did get the Bonsai edition. That's why it's all green. It's got like green accents to it. Too. They give you stickers, so it says high ground, and then more of like a cartoon art high ground sticker. This company is exceeding expectations so far. This thing only took like a week to come in, not even actually. I will say just a normal lightning cable with a USB Type C to USB. That's pretty high quality, I will admit. Like it's very much, it feels good. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and pick this guy up. The box design is phenomenal. It all flows. You have your key switch puller, just like some, just a normal piece of metal. Nothing engraved with high ground. You got your keycap puller, which is actually high ground branded. Now, to end off with this box, because obviously they give you an image of the keyboard. They are so organized with saying two pullers here on this side, and then one cable type C on that side. First impressions of just the box, the packaging, 10 out of 10, exceeding expectations. Packaging with the keyboard, again, exceeding expectations, 10 out of 10. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate test. Does $145 really get you a nice keyboard? Again, this is Cherry MX Red. Wow, dude. Okay, first off, if anybody's seen the, the mechanical keyboard videos I've filmed in the past, you guys all know how clicky they were. Again, this is Cherry MX Red. Th that is insane. It's it's dampened, it, it feels, um, like it legitimately feels amazing. Genuinely, this keyboard might actually be worth $145, no joke. The build quality, the weight of it all feels amazing. I actually love that this USB Type-C, the plug-in, is in the middle instead of actually on the left edge. Now what I do want to do, actually, is pull one of the keycaps up and investigate it because that's really damp. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the escape. Wait, these aren't Cherry MX Red. What did I get? I got TTC White Flame key switches. Well, I'm sorry guys. Um, they're white key switches and they feel amazing. They feel just like Cherry MX Red switches. They're damp. Now I will say this keyboard is a little different from any other 60% that I've had, but it's nothing horrible. And I do like the design that it's on here. It's not just a plain keyboard. I think they're real question is, what does it look like with RGB? Alright guys, here is the ultimate test, okay? So we have the $45 keyboard here, and we have the one that costs literally $100 more. So without further ado, we're gonna use the Matrix keyboard branded coiled cable, and we're gonna plug it in in 3, 2, 1. Oh, what the? That is, it, it's like, it's subtle. It's not super bright, but hold on. Let me show you this. Check this out, okay? I'm gonna show it from this angle now. This is really cool. Ready? In three, two, one. Guys. This keyboard genuinely is something else. It, it's something that, like, it feels amazing. The overall response of, like, the key switches, the pressing down. Like, here's the difference, okay. Again, I know it's a $100 difference, but I love this keyboard to death, and I hate the Matrix one, and Dunky one honestly doesn't match anything else either. But watch, $45 one, and I know they're different switches, but still, $145. $45? 
Wow. That's all I can say. This isn't saying like that I'm just saying this because it's $145 and the company has limited edition stuff. This is genuinely worth every single cent because one thing that really stands out to me as a company is the fact that they provided function instructions for people who are very knowledgeable about 60% keyboards. As a person who doesn't understand the function keys and whatnot, it's huge. For instance, a lot of the times when I'm trying to change the RGB, that was the one thing that I hated about Matrix Keyboard. They sent you the stuff, but they didn't send you much. It was just a keyboard and that was it. There was no instructions, there was no like fancy packaging, it was just a nice box and that was it. Now, again, this is why I'm saying like, it's so crazy that this is a company who not only cares about gamers, cares about customers, but also provides quality and quantity. This is genuinely me saying this as a satisfied customer so far, 100% worth the buy. And since it is Christmas, kids, guys, ladies and gents, ask your parents for this keyboard. No joke, if you're a PC player, yes. So guys, as you can clearly tell, I'm very satisfied with it. However, is it expensive? Yes, and I don't expect every single person watching this video or whatever to afford that. $145 for a keyboard is insane. Obviously, you can go more expensive with anything in gaming, even a mouse. We all know that. So, in my honest and thorough conclusion, as a generalized gamer that's not in a pro tournament or anything, or that is expecting to be in the top of the top, I can thoroughly say it is an amazing keyboard, built extremely well, has the quantity to ship within a reasonable time, and have customer experience and expectations being surpassed with flying colors with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed hit that subscribe button if you're new and if you want to see more tech videos in the future especially for 2023 smash that subscribe button without further ado that's it i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon peace